You're sitting on a website and you want to find out if WordPress is vulnerable to any exploit. Because WordPress is the number one most popular content management system, this will give you a realistic approach of what to do to initiate ethically hacking your way into a website through WordPress. I know some of you are going to ask, how do I know this website's running WordPress? Well, in addition to Nmap, I recommend downloading Wappalyzer. It's a Firefox add-on that gives us good information about a website. We can see the content management system is currently WordPress with a bunch of other information like web servers, programming languages. So that's one way you can find out. Let's get started. We can start by typing WPS scan dash dash URL, and we can put down the URL there. I'm going to be using an IP address on hack the box. Next, we can do a dash E. The dash E denotes enumerate. So we can choose what we want to enumerate. For example, we can put a U and the U means user. So it's going to try to dig up information on usernames for potential logins. And we're also going to do VP. VP denotes vulnerable plugins. So we want to find all the plugins that are installed on WordPress and see which ones we can look to exploit. You're welcome to put AP as well. AP denotes all plugins, but to be quite honest with you, I'm only interested in the vulnerable ones. For the last step, you might not find this in older videos of WPS scan. This is because in the newer version of WPS scan, it now requires an API token to discover vulnerabilities, but don't worry. It is 100% free. All we have to do is go to wpsscan.com slash register the links in the description below and make a free account. And you're allowed to do 25 queries within a 24 hour period. So once you get your API token, you can simply copy it and paste it there. We are now safe to hit enter and we'll be back to analyze the results. Here are the scan results. I did make it smaller. So it is easier to see. We'll start off with this. Whenever you see the greenish blue plus signs, they simply denote information that was found about WordPress. So they're denoted as interesting findings. So we can see here that the interesting entry was a server Apache 2.4.18. That's good information. We can also see down here that a readme file was found and it even gives us the location of the readme file. So we can look to open this up and see if we can find any information about WordPress that might help. It doesn't look too particularly important. However, I do see a login page. We can click on that. And just like that, we simply found the login page for WordPress. Now here we can look to brute force admin credentials or any other users that we do find. You can use Hydra or any other tool. Uh, you can look at my video on Hydra if you're interested in that. And let's continue. So one thing that I'd like to bring to your attention is this right here, WordPress version 4.7.3 identified. And it does say insecure, and it also says released on 2017. Now that is about five years old, and that is phenomenal. And that is good news to hear. And that is why we can see right below here, it says 57 vulnerabilities identified. So whenever you see this red exclamation mark, it simply means a vulnerability. Like I said, the greenish blue information red explanation, vulnerabilities. So we can see here, it does mention WordPress 2.3 and the version, and it says host injection and password reset reference. And it even gives us the CVE number and details we can look to exploit. So this is the power of WPS scan. It can give us a multitude of vulnerabilities that we can look to exploit. And maybe you can find remote code executions in here or any type of vulnerabilities we're looking to exploit. Now, one thing that I'll mention is WordPress generally is updated. However, a lot of people tend to forget to update the plugins associated with WordPress. So we're actually going to scroll down to the bottom here and we can see down here, it mentions plugins identified. Remember we put the VP in there for vulnerable plugins. Well, we can see here that the job manager is currently a vulnerable plugin for WordPress. So, it gives us a location for this and it tells us the two vulnerabilities identified. So for the 57 we've seen previously, that was for WordPress and these two vulnerabilities are for job manager. And once again, it gives us CVE details and links that we can click on. And finally, we did put a U in there for users. So it will enumerate users. And we can see here that it did find one user, Takis. Now that is great information. We can look to use the name Takis perhaps in here 
type it in here and look to brute force that through Hydra or any other tool that uh, is appropriate. And this is the power of WPS Scan and why it is used to enumerate and find exploits on WordPress. Keep in mind, this is for educational purposes. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions for videos, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.